Hi, so this is where I live, and I want to take you on a quick tour today of my little piece of property. <clears throat> There's Rusty the Coconut Mobile. So this is in a subdivision on the big island of Hawaii, right at that mailbox to about just in front of that truck is about 60 feet and that's the front frontage of the lot with the road. I have a little trail in, no driveway yet, big old pile of mulch. This is a dwarf Namwa banana. Where is it? There's a little baby apple banana. There's some mushrooms, coconut. <clears throat> Passion fruits are starting to flower. Guavas are about to fruit again too. They have a really quick cycle. How do I... There we go. There's the guava flowers. And then underneath the flower turns into the fruit. Very small. Got a jackfruit here. Some uh, ginger. There's a rulinia planted from seed recently. Aloe, sugar cane. This is a mango. It's about to be a, you can tell it has a pretty thick trunk and it was pretty big and I cut it down recently to let these new shoots form so that they can be grafted. So this is just a common mango and it's gonna be uh, grafted with a better variety that'll fruit hopefully a little more reliably here. This is a Thai egg banana called Kluwe Kai. There's an avocado with some passion fruit on it that was already here. I'm actually really fortunate this piece of land has uh, this monkey pod tree, this big tree right here. A lot of things are already here. These Williams bananas right here, they're doing really well. I got a bunch of mulch recently. Some strong cakeys. <clears throat> this is the carport I'm living under right now. It's a 20 by 20. Got a tarp on it. Catching some rainwater right there. Breeding mosquitoes. There's a bed right in front. And then on the other side of that board, one's my bed, I'll go over there. Got some oregano in here, some cassava. This was uh, already here as well. Some really beautiful flowers that are edible. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. Mm, better. And finally getting around to it. Here's some Suriname cherry seedlings, coconuts. This is the fence line that I have some, uh, some things planted on for privacy. Big old coconut stash. There's some coconuts waiting to sprout right there. Got the bike, running shoes, various odds and ends, and a little bed with my somewhat ineffective rain screen, sunscreen right here. This is a big uh, state forest that's about 125 acres. Go back in there sometimes, it's really big. Very nice to be right next to that. Lots of space. And then, as you can see, this uh, pile of sticks basically right here is going to be a berm where I'll plant a living fence. And uh, <clears throat> I have some edible plants that grow nice and quickly, stuck down into the mulch so I don't have to put in a real fence and can still maintain some privacy. So, right about 
here is the is the corner where the property line goes like this and then cuts back over this way towards the road. So I have a really strange five-sided lot with a funny shape. There's a pile of wood over there and some bananas. These are the only two big trees that were here on the property that I have uh, girdled so they'll die in their own time and come down. Just because they're kind of uh, dangerous to have get too big. But as you can see, one of them is already growing out below the girdle. <clears throat> so it's not dead yet. And actually this stuff is pretty handy. I like these leaves for toilet paper when they're dry. So this is uh, where I girdled around the tree, cut the bark off all the way down to the cambium layer, and uh, everything above the, that on the tree dies and falls down. So sometimes that's nicer than just sawing it all the way down. It happens kind of slowly. This is an apple banana. Planted a couple weeks ago. It's doing really well. And these strawberry guavas are uh, forming up too. <coughs> and then here's the the berm. It goes down to the the road right there. You probably can't see it. You can kind of see the truck in the background right here. So from here to the road is just another 40 feet. So a pretty small lot. It's about 9,000 square feet. And uh, this just kind of gives you an idea of what I'm working with here. Got a beautiful native ohia tree with some little koi vine on it. And uh, there's a little coconut chopping station. And yeah, I've cleared all this out in the last couple months. And pretty soon I'm going to start building a home space and go from there. So follow along. Aloha.